Hello everybody, this is Lightstar Nexus, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Silver version. In the last episode, we, um... What did we do? We saved the Slowpoke at the Slowpoke Well from Team Rocket, and we also, um, got Kurt to take our Apricorns to make a Fastball. Now, I realized that I had actually made a mistake in the, um, in the previous episode. Um, fastballs only, or, um, lure balls only work better on Pokemon called the lure, not exactly a, um, not exactly water types. But anyway, uh, I, I believe all of our Pokemon are up to speed, yep. So let's enter the gym. Now, just like before, I will be fighting all the trainers, and I'm probably just going to speed through all of them, throw some music in the background, and then we'll go play the gym leader. So I will see you guys in, um, just a bit. Alright, now that I've defeated all the trainers here, let's see, make sure I'm ready. Alright, I would switch Saki up to first position to get her some experience, but unfortunately she's not strong enough to take on bug types as of yet. So we're just gonna leave her out of this fight. So, here we go. Oh! I actually remembered this time. Battle scene on. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. This is Bugsy, the bug type Azalea Town gym leader. He has three Pokemon, first being a Metapod, level 14. And yes, Bugsy is actually a boy. Um, if you talk to the, um, if you talk to the guy at the front of the gym, he'll even say so. Anyway, uh, Metabot shouldn't be too hard to take care of, especially because all it knows is Harden and Tackle. And at level 14, it should have already evolved into a Butterfree. I don't know why it hasn't, but oh well. I guess maybe he's part of the B Button League. If any of you know what I'm referring to with that, um, feel free to um, tell me in the comments. I see. Cause I'm. Um, well, never mind. 
I was about to get into a big story about something, but now I just don't care. I have actually been watching, um... Oh, yeah, I already explained this in the last episode that I've been watching, um... Pokemon Best Wishes, the Japanese um, anime. And, um... Yeah, it's really good. I really like, um... I... I... I'm trying to figure out why I stopped watching Pokemon for a time. I guess it just... It got a little too, uh, I don't know, childish to watch, I guess. But I gotta say, going and watching the Japanese anime with the English subtitles, I gotta say, it's a lot better than actually watching the English dub. I really, I really have to say. Anyway, um, I just completely talked over Bugsy's second Pokemon, Kuna, which also should have evolved into Beedrill. Here's his last Pokemon, a Scyther, a flying bug type. And, um... Well, this thing, if you're not careful, it can be quite deadly, especially with Fury Cutter. Fury Cutter's an attack where, um... If, he, if it hits in succession, it'll increase in damage, as you can see there. So it's still dealing out a lot of damage after each hit. And I'm going to switch out to Heavy because I know, um, he can... I know Heavy is going to be able to, um, withstand this. Of course I'm wrong, um... I guess, Sakuya, you're going out as cannon fodder, as terrible as it sounds. I don't have any potions, do I? Well, this just got... Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. Oh, uh, let's try this. Uh, I think I just lost. Well, this is, um... Quite embarrassing, actually. Oh my god. I'll be right back. Alright, so now that we're back, we're gonna fight Bugsy again. That might just be the first time I've ever lost to Bugsy. More, and also the first time I've ever lost on screen in Pokemon. I can't believe this. That... That was just pure... I can't even think of a word. I have no words to describe what had just happened. So you know what? Um... Heavy, you... I'm just gonna leave you out, because the more damage you take, the stronger rage we'll get, and the closer we'll come to defeating that Scyther. Scyther so much. Now, something I don't think I pointed out, which I probably should have, is that in this game, you can actually see the experience points, which is the blue bar underneath your health bar. Um, it's kind of late in the series to point that out, but I didn't mention it until just now, so... Eh. And even after using Harding, it still took out that much damage. Oh, son of a... I... You weren't this difficult to take out in heart goal, I'll tell you that much. I still can't believe I took out both Faulkner and Bugsy with a hop in. That is still inc unbelievable to me. Anyway, we should be able to take Scyther out, no problem. And there we go. Level 16. Well, that kind of... What's well, not exactly wishful thinking on my part. I really don't like when my Pokemon get too far away in levels. 
Anyway, we received the Hive Badge, the second Johto Gym Badge. We will now be able to use Cut outside of battle, and we received TM-49, which I believe is Fury Cutter. Yep. So yeah, it's kind of like Rage, except, um, Rage increases as you get hit. Fury Cutter just increases as it hits. Let's hope. And, um, as you can see, the screen is now flashing after every few steps. That's your Pokémon taking damage from poison. Um, in Pokémon Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver, uh, poison will always fade away when the Pokémon is left with 1 HP left. Um, every game before that, um, gold, silver, crystal, ruby, sapphire, and emeralds, and all them, your Pokemon will faint from poison. And, um, so, and for whatever reason, in black and white version, your Pokemon actually doesn't take field damage from poison. For whatever reason. Anyway, um, you know what, I, um... I don't feel comfortable making each episode of Pokemon that long, so you know what, I'm- I think I'm just going to end it off here, because, um, I defeated the gym, I'm content with that, so, um, I think I'm gonna end it off here, so thank you all for watching, and in the next episode we will head towards Goldenrod City, the next gym, so until then everybody.